Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. As always, I thank you all for watching. I thank all my subscribers. And uh, where I left off in that last video, you saw me uh, fabricating this uh, panel right here for these toggle switches. And uh, I got thinking about this, and I realized I need to get the electrical system squared away on this boat before I start bonding panels in place, before I start closing up these uh, areas like this. Uh, right now, it, I can access everything and uh, can get in and do what I need to do. And uh, if I start bonding these panels in place before I run wiring, before I mount lights, it's just going to make my life a whole lot more difficult. And so that's what I need to get done. I need to make some hard mounting points for these LED lights. I've got four of these little six inch LEDs. They're going to mount up underneath this cap right here and on the other side. And I've also got to um, run the wiring for my, for my bow light. And then I've got to run the wiring also for the, the, the stern light. It's going to mount right here on this corner. And I uh, just got to get all that done while this area is still open and uh, while I still have access to everything. So I will be working on that. Uh, more to come. Okay, folks, so this will be kind of a slow and meticulous process here. Uh, that pad right there that I bonded to the forward side of this bulkhead, um, that is for my fuse panel. And uh, we're going to do this the right way. I mean, we're not just going to string wires off of a battery. I mean, you know, everything's going to be run in a, a wire loom, and you know, it's going to be done right. And, uh, of course, we're going to run the wiring up underneath this cap right here. We're going to keep it hidden out of sight. And, uh, you know, we're going to make it professional looking. And also, I did have to coat the back sides of these uh, mounts for my LED lights. And uh, I think I mentioned before I have four of those little six-inch lights that are going to go up underneath the caps. But I want to go ahead and uh, uh, wet down the back sides with resin right now waterproof those pieces and then uh, I'll get those mounted later and I'll explain that a little bit more in depth at a later time. Alright, I'll be back. Okay folks, just a quick update on this electrical stuff here. I've got my uh, pad attached right here, got that bonded in place, that's for the fuse block and also have a pad uh, bonded in place for the ground bus and that's just a, uh, it's not a terminal strip, it's a ground strip uh, or I should say a bus strip and it's just one solid piece that's going to, going to uh, attach right here at this location and it's just for the ground wires and so i uh, just got to let that epoxy fire off I'll get those attached and so the next thing I'm going to be working on is uh, getting these lights installed right here and uh, if you recall I said I was going to attach these on the bottom sides of these caps right here and so just need to get busy doing that i uh, got to do a little bit of a contortionist act to get up underneath there and get these installed. I'll be back. Okay, and that's just a shot of the bottom side of this cap right here. And uh, I installed mount pads for those lights underneath there, uh, like I alluded to just a moment ago. Like I said, I just got to uh, twist myself up into the shape of a pretzel to get those installed. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, that's what I was talking about. One down, three to go. And uh, having to reach over and around from the top like that, that is every much as bit of a booger as it looks like. And so, just need to get the other ones done. Okay, folks, that might give you a little bit better picture of what I was talking about earlier. That's one of the four LED light strips that I attach to the bottom of this cap right here. It's just hard to get this camera up underneath there. Not a lot of clearance, but I've got four of those, like I said, on the bottom side of this cap. And earlier, I had attached uh, those pads that I was telling you about, those mount pads. And I've got two more over on that side, same position, opposite side. And also, I have a 29 inch long LED light strip right there on the bottom of this uh, stern cap right here. And that one was easy. 
uh, that was just a matter of peeling off the uh, uh, adhesive backing and uh, uh, just tacking it down with the adhesive and uh, just putting the uh, end caps on with the screws. Yeah, yeah that, that was the easy one right there. These right here, uh, yeah, it, it took a little bit of contorting. But they're done. And so now, i got to turn my attention to my battery tray. And I'm going to get that taken care of tomorrow. All right, I will see you then. Okay, folks, we're just going to keep right on rolling with the electrical system starting with the uh, fuse block slash electrical terminal we're going to go ahead and get it installed just like that and next we got to put the ground bus on and boom ground bus is installed up next the battery tray and the battery tray is in okay now we get to run some wiring I'll be right back okay folks so I'm going to start by wiring in the bilge pump and I just installed that here about an hour ago and I'm getting ready to uh, like I said I'm going to go ahead and run the wiring for this get the uh, wire loom uh, installed over that wiring and then we'll get everything secured and fastened to uh, the ribs and the kill beam and everything so I'll be right back in a moment okay folks so I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach my connectors to my bulk wiring right here and then I'll cut this to length and uh, we'll get the uh, bilge pump wired up. And these are environmental splices. Um, when I get done with uh, crimping these, I will uh, apply a little heat to this and it will shrink that down over the wire. And let's see, let's use this other pair right here. I just like these better. So, give it a little tug, just like that, see, that was a fail, mainly because let's try this other pair. That's why you want to give it a little tug. Make sure you've got a good crimp on that. And it doesn't hurt to come back and crimp it a couple of times. These usually work pretty good. Once again, give it a nice little tug. You should not be able to pull that connector off of there. And I would say that's sufficient. black wiring the same way black is going to be the return side it's going to be the negative side of the battery I know usually in house wiring you see black and white but uh, in automotive marine 12 volt wiring black is always the negative and this is 14 gauge by the way so I find the 14 giving up on these. I refuse to surrender. Just got to give them a good squeeze. Listen, this old man, arthritis is starting to set into my hands. I may not be giving those as good a squeeze as I used to be able to. Getting old, folks. But, I think we got a good connection right there. Alright. Alright, let me get those cut to length. I'll be back. Okay, let's get these connected up. Uh, make sure we got black to black.
Same thing. Give it a little tug. Tug. Alright, let's shrink that down. Man, I gotta be careful. <laughs> so this thing's full of sawdust. Well, this could go up like a gunpowder factory. Alright, here we go. Might have to go and get my heat gun over there. It might not be enough heat. Let me go get my heat gun. We'll be here all day doing this. Yeah, I had a bunch of my tools packed up. I'm still optimistic about moving away from the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area, relocating somewhere else, preferably somewhere closer to saltwater. But uh, yeah, I had, had my heat gun packed. But, I had to go dig it out. Alright, let's get this done. I got that one done. That one shrunk. Okay, so the reason I wanted to redo this connector was because when I go to run this into the wire loom, I did not want these two side by side. That just makes for a big fat bundle right there. Uh, it just You can't get the uh, wire loom to close around this sometimes, so I want to stagger these. Yeah, I just forgot to do that. So I just cut this side off a little bit shorter, and uh, when, the, when they lay up in the wire loom, we want it like that. All right, let me get this shrunk. Okay, we'll let that cool off for just a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I was talking about. When you uh, have your butt joint connectors side by side, it just makes it harder to close that loom in around them. And so I'm just going to... Well, I like to split loom. If I can ever get my fingers in there to open it up. Okay, just like so. You see how, the, how that's laying in there. Yeah, this makes for a real neat job. I'll show you here in just a minute. Here we go. A little bit of a struggle getting it in there. The edges want to curl inward. All right, we'll win. Okay, so I'm going to run this through one of my lightning holes down here. I've got to have both hands. I uh, can't work the camera right now. Take my word for it. I'll show you here in just a second. What we're doing. All right. So I need to leave. Oh about that much where are we at there okay I need to leave about that much hanging out of the end of that loom that's where I'll cut that loom off and my switches are going to be right about in this area right here so let me get that run and then I'll show you how I'm going to secure that I'll be right back okay I've got the loom cut to length 
Got about an oh, inch and a half, two inches hanging out of the end of the loom. I'll show you what I got to do next. And there's a reason for this. Make sure I get it right in. So this little piece of pipe right here. You probably already guessed it by now. So. Okay, so once I run this through the floorboard, floors aren't in yet, but you can see that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I've got to have a way to run that through the flooring and seal it. Now, I need to seal around this uh, piece of PVC pipe right here, all the way around, uh, so we don't have a point where uh, water might leak in uh, to the bilge area. And uh, even though I'm installing a bilge pump, I just hope and pray I never have to use that bilge pump. So that's it. I just need to uh, get this secured, uh, get it zip tied off, and uh, get all my hangers put in. I'll show you how I'm going to do that here in just a moment. I used to secure that wire loom, and all my wire looms are those little stainless steel uh, eye screws right there. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just run that down, uh, just run it at about a quarter inch, half inch or so and uh, then just use a zip tie and we'll tie that uh, wire loom off to the uh, screw eye right there all right i'll be back okay that's what i was talking about right there i just uh, ran that screw eye down in there and uh, just secured the wire loom with a zip tie and uh, you don't have to crush that wire loom you don't have to draw that zip tie down real tight uh, just just pull a, a, enough of it uh, just pull it tight enough to where it will support that wire loom. Like I said, you don't have to crush that wire loom. All right, folks, got a couple more of those to do. I'll be back. Okay, folks, good morning. I'm back. And the game plan for this morning is to get the wiring run for the bilge pump. And that's that red 14 gauge wire right there. Also got to run wiring for my lights. And uh, get all that wrapped up in the wire loom and get it secured underneath that cap. And... Uh, also got to uh, run my ground wire. Now, this is a wooden boat, so can't ground to the frame. I don't think that would work very well. Also, uh, the video up to this point has been a little bit choppy. Uh, what you have seen so far has taken place over a period of several days, and so sometimes uh, it's just hard to maintain continuity uh, when you record videos like that. But uh, anyway, we just got to get that done. Yeah, just got to get after it. I'll be back. And I am still running wire, and I've got all the uh, wires, the, uh, the the individual circuits for lights and bilge pump, etc. Uh, got all that run. I've got to get it all wrapped up in that loom now, and then after I get that done, I've got to feed that loom through all these holes and all these ribs right here. And so it's time consuming. When I finish that, I will be back. Okay, folks. It is the next day. I have been busy. I had to set my cap back in place temporarily and bore this hole for the uh, stern light base right here. And, uh, we got that board and uh, it kind of threw a little bit of a curve at me. We put this kind of a, like a keyway on here. And um, so you can only mount it one way, but anyway, I had to account for that. I had to slot this out right here with a wood uh, with a wood rasp and uh, that just took a little bit of time and I'm also running the wiring for those LED lights up underneath the cap over there and again it's just time consuming stuff you just gotta take your time with it and uh, do it right alright folks I'll be back momentarily okay folks I've got most of my wiring roughed in now and uh, before I can go any further with this piece right here of course, I have to run it through this hole right here underneath this uh, top part of this cap. And before I do that, I'm going to have to bond that inboard piece in place because it's got to go through it also. And so with that right there, I think that's a good stopping point for this video. And so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. The run time is getting a little bit long anyway. Uh, I've been editing uh, bits and pieces of this video over the course of the last couple of days 
So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I thank each and every one of you for watching. I thank all my subscribers. And uh, God bless each and every one of you. And as I always say, in all things, to God be the glory. And all praise to our Lord Jesus Christ. We'll see you next time.